everyone, it's Kristen Burt with Red Carpet Report here on Mingle Media TV. And tonight we're at the Paley Center for Media as they present an evening with the CBS hit show, Person of Interest. <laughs> All right, now that you have season one under your belt, what did you find were the biggest challenges with the storyline and what were the easiest things to write? Oh, good question. Um, easiest thing to write? Well, we got, you know, we, we've got an ambitious, uh, we think of it as an ambitious show with a lot of different characters. I remember, uh, I was a big fan of the HBO show The Wire, and I remember one point trying to get, um, trying to get a, a friend hooked on it, and I sent him a link, HBO had a website where it had kind of a, kind of a, like a Venn diagram of all the characters, and there were kind of hundreds of them. Um, I, I just admire the complexity of that, but we're, we're getting there in terms of characters. We've got a lot of them, a lot of different sort of uh, um, elements and, and, and forces, um, and it is uh, a challenge, but really, really enjoyable challenge to plot out the bigger movements with all these different players involved. Uh, and that's, so it's been kind of simultaneously one of the challenging things about writing the show, but also one of the, the really rewarding and fun aspects of writing the show. That leaves you the easy question. <laughs> well, you know, surprisingly, I think we've all sort of, uh, the delineation of the characters that Jonah created in the pilot, the voices of those characters, we've all sort of fallen into them, and they've, they, they, all, they, they seem so well-defined, and I think that's something that has been refreshing for all of us, is to say, like, you know, these aren't interchangeable characters. I think that's one of the problems that people run into in a lot of procedurals. <laughs> You know, it's like, well, this detective can do it, that one can do it, and, it's, and, and then you're in the midst of a bad show. Um, I think one of the things people have really responded to with our cast is that it's, very, it's really eclectic, but each of them are different in their own right. I don't think we have one cast member on the age of 40, which is right, right away is different. That's historic. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you're not supposed to talk about Chappie's age. Uh, Taraji would hit me. 39. Except for yeah. Taraji. And, and she's 30. Three, yeah. Um, I think that's been great. Uh, you know, I think... The, the difficult aspect of the show is that it's funny for me to hear people always talk about the show as a procedural because we don't start with a body and there's hardly ever a confession. Our guys are not cops, our two main characters aren't cops. They're, they operate outside the law, so right in, in and of itself, that was always a trick for saying like, especially if you have writers who come from that vein to say, blow all that out, forget all that, we're going to do something more exciting, more fun. So yeah, you're starting from a whole different point of view than a lot of shows. You guys came out of the gate, you know, really well received, um, critically acclaimed. You know, obviously you're trying to write the best story you can, but is that always in the back of your mind? Like, we got a People's Choice Award, people like us, how do we make this continue on? I mean, it's got to sort of chase you a little bit. It's a good problem to have. Uh, it, it, there's nothing quite as invigorating as knowing that they're... The show, the show has fans and people are excited to see what you're going to do next. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, a really, it's a really fun way to write. So you try to you know, not worry about the pressure of it. But there is a certain, certain amount of wanting to, to sort of top yourself and make, make sure that the, the show you know, uh, continues to excite, excite and kind of surprise people. All right, I'm going to ask one Dark Knight question before we wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually going back, actually. Do you realize that the Dark Knight actually changed the rules of the Academy, basically, of the Best Picture role, because everyone created such a fuss that it wasn't nominated for Best Picture? Uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, come on, that's kind of cool. Oh, there was, come on, that's kind of cool. There were a number of factors going. It's frustrating, but it's kind of cool at the same time. Yeah, uh, it, 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 it is kind of cool. I mean, one of the things that we were trying to do with that movie is one of the things we are tr trying to do with the show, which is to, um, you know, in the film business, you had this kind of, um, split between your sort of award season um, movie and your summer movie. And you know, the network shows, you got a lot of great TV on these days, a lot of it's on cable. Um, and it's year round too. At least serialized kind of smaller audiences. And what we're trying to do is get out on, on network, uh, on network TV and reach that big audience, but try to build, you know, some, 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 some sort of darkness and, uh, and, and mystery and, and, um, and some grit and put that on, on network TV, so. He turned that around and didn't really answer it, but that's okay. <laughs> well, you know, it's it was good, though. It was good. It was good PR. We're going to get right back to the show. Dark was the other four-letter word that the network often <laughs> yeah, bandies we were about. Always, yeah, and and I, 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 I go, guys, it's the guy who wrote The Dark Knight. <laughs> so what's, what are we talking about here? This is ridiculous. It's all good. I mean, you should pat yourself on the back yeah. for getting the Oscars. It's changed the rules. Yeah. It's tough there, you know? They're, they're tough with their rules, and tough, now, now you've got more than five best pictures, so because of that. Good job. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> you bet.